Hello, Colin. Hello, Mark. Welcome to the Great Depression. Mm, well, thank you, thank you. Uh, tell me, what do you what do you have for me today? Well, today, Colin, I didn't want to go too crazy on the wine. I don't actually care about the wine. Um, it has nothing to do with this wine. The wine is not important. What's important is that people struggle every day trying to open wine bottles and trying to handle wine bottles, but how often did that happen where you just take a bottle and you, you, you try to handle it, but then it just falls and it just falls. breaks all the time. And then like, you're just like, oh my God, glass everywhere, wine everywhere. It's a mess, right? Well, I'm gonna hand it to you, Colin. Okay. This one is quite useful. No more problems. Everything will be fixed with one and only hand. Let me, oh let me, God. let me take that. <laughs> There's an imprint in the glass. <laughs> it's literally called hand. It's just called hand. This is hand. <laughs> wow, this guy has big hands. Because, yeah, he really because does. Because I have big hands. <laughs> I, know, I can't right. even fit all the way around. Uh, but this is, um... Yep. Wow. That grip, though, hand comes from a family winery situated in the rolling hills of nor northern Italy. The name plays tribute to all the hard work that comes from harvesting the grapes and creating the most expressive blend of red wine. That's actually like a, a fine, <laughs> fine uh, description. Yeah, it there. actually is. Uh, and, I, yeah. Oh, wait, I thought it was just for helping people deal with wine, but I guess it's for, for like, other reasons. <laughs> I guess so. And, look... <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? Mm, oh no. We had it all along. <laughs> Don't say that. We didn't have it all along. It's a real cork. Okay. We haven't had a real cork a in a while. in a couple weeks. Yeah, jeez. So. So they obviously had to mold that, and then there has to be something on the bottle of wine. Or the know. glass. I don't know, man. But, again, the wine doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> it's just I like, can open a wine so much easier. Yeah, we, can, we won't spill it, we won't do anything. No, it's precisely, great. yeah. Uh, the funny, funny thing. I went to this uh, to the store, and I and I, oh, it actually just says hand on it. It's a. Um, it actually says hand on it. <laughs> That's so crazy. And there, uh, but anyways, I was saying uh, I went to the I went to this wine just the small wine store, and he he has that place has awesome ridiculous wines. Okay. Um, okay. And I, 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 like, I got the bottle and went up to the guy. He's like, "Do you find anything? He's like, Are you telling everything?" He's like, "Yeah." He's like, "I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm looking for the most ridiculous wine uh, for a YouTube channel where we just do like reviews of ridiculous wines." <laughs> and he was like, "Really?" He's like, "Yeah." He's like, "This is for the channel?" It's like, "Yeah." He's like, "All right, I'll give you 20% off." No way! And I'm like, "Oh my god, you're kidding me!" That's it. And then we talked for a while because oh, uh, because so I said uh, that I was working at the I'm one of the, uh, the wine bar in Beverly Hills okay. that he actually knows and everything. Oh yeah! And he was like, "All right, come back whenever you want, and um, and I'll give you 20% off for That's for insane. the channel." So wow. I got a good place. But, all right, let's 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 um, let's take a small snip. So again, I I mean, it doesn't. It doesn't look like a bad wine. No, it's it just, just, it's very interesting. I've never seen that. It's, it's very, unique. very, it's kind very of crazy. Unique. Whoa. Immediately. Oh, that's a strong smell. Yeah. There's a, there's a strong smell of alcohol in there. <laughs> yeah, but there's more on top. There's almost, in a way, chocolatey. Do you smell chocolate? It's something pretty strong, yeah. Um, what is it? It's so weird. That's really unusual. It doesn't taste like something I would really enjoy. No. Um, well, we're gonna find oh, out. We're gonna find out. <laughs> All right. Oh. Okay. Um. Oh, I'm actually much happier with the taste. Okay, so pretty short taste. The finish is pretty. It's actually there's still a taste after it. It's a very, very, very slight taste. You're right, but it's still slight. there. But yeah, the initial taste does go away pretty quick. Of course, like most of cheap wines. Sure, sure. <laughs> but um, the initial taste is is not as strong as the smell. It's definitely the taste that I don't like right. is in there. But it's not it's I'm, not overly. I'm still having trouble like pinpointing what I really like, what it kind of tastes like. Yeah, it's like, I feel like I want to, like, pair this with food or a meal or, like, it's, I don't know. There's definitely, like, some, um, some berry taste to it. Very red, red fruitiness. Well, it is red wine, Mark. Yeah, but it's berry tasting. Berries are not, <laughs> made, are not wine, Colin. <laughs> yeah, I feel like the more I taste, the, the more I sip it, the more the, that initial taste is gonna, it's gonna be tough. Yes, but, but at the, least the, the, the more I sip it, the more I taste the alcohol and not. 
the thing, which exactly. is tough for me to finish. Yeah, exactly. Um, that's, that's what I'm saying. But at least, the, again, the finish isn't too bad. The, the yeah. aftertaste is... Yeah, it's not bad. It's um, fine. Yeah, I, I'm going to give it a, a strong six. Oof, I don't know. Uh, I think I got... Uh, I'll, let me take one last sip and I'll give my, my final score. That's fine. We can add sound effects later. <clears throat> I took a big sip, and I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the more, okay, wait, wait, one more, one more. Uh, the initial taste is hard. Uh, I'm giving it a four. Four. Uh, yeah, it's oh, it's 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 a high four, but that I'm really starting to taste the pure alcohol yeah. in there. The, the more I taste it, out. and I feel like if we finish this, it's gonna be it's gonna get a little tough. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's fair. That's fair. So, oh. Oh, wait. Oh, you know what? I have to do it. I have to do this one. <laughs> that's fair, that's fair. Well, well, Colin, I am really looking forward to whatever you're bringing me next time on The Great Depression. I bet you are. Oh, yes. yes.